Well, hello, Kingsman. Welcome back to another Napoleonic Total War 3 battle. Today, we have a battle on Friedland. This is a 4v4 non-historical cores. Um, quite crazy battle, guys. Uh, I watched a little bit of this and started previewing my replays a little bit. And at uh, first, I was, I was a little uh, skeptical, I'm not going to lie, about uh, recording this one. But it gets so intense. And just when you think things aren't crazy enough it just gets crazier and it's crazier i didn't watch the whole thing just disclaimer but i did watch enough of it to be like yeah this is a good one like i want to see the end of it. i want to personally we have a cab charge here uh but i personally want to see the end of this replay i wanted to and at that point was like okay yep i'm definitely gonna do this one because i don't know how this is gonna end and i don't know you know I want to know. I want to know who wins and how do they win and how do they take this. So, yeah, um, grab your coffee, grab tea, uh, whatever you drink. I drink coffee, so uh, just grab whatever drinks you have and uh, get ready for an epic battle here. Already, we have some cavalry charging in, some Chevaliers striking against, uh, looks like just some Bravarian Chevaliers, Lancers, some Ulanen charging in breaking them we have some french lines shooting at them all these cav are gonna route and go off the map immediately it's always a risk of playing on the edge of the map a lot of people do it though i don't do it because of that see that cav is gone it's gone bye bye and any of this infantry probably will route and run off the map before they even get a chance to uh come back now um let's look at the coalition armies because like we said we have a 10 point austria love playing austria don't play it enough i think um, they have some really fun skirms and light cav. And the lines are pretty fun. I mean, they're, they're uh, grenadiers pretty cheap. Um, or can be pretty cheap, not the greatest, but they are pretty cheap. And of course, they have some, ooh, they have Sprossum, they're better line infantry. So these are a very shooty faction. Um, and they are bringing quite a lot of cav to back it up. You have Crossiers, of course, they have skirmishers. Um, you have some more, oh, that's the general. Um, <laughs> Mulanin and Hussars. Now, they do have Prussia with them, and Prussia is bringing, man, lots of cav. They are bringing uh, Crossiers. Look at this combat gen just sitting there. I mean, I, well, I gotta say, the map looks beautiful. Look at that sun shining. I mean, it's just, it, you can almost feel the crisp, fresh, cold morning air. Um, I'm assuming that's morning, morning air, or late morning, who knows. Maybe it's warm. But they have a lot of musketeers as well, some skirmishers, artillery setting up already, six-pounder. And they do have some Dragoons over here as well. And then, of course, you have UK Netherlands um, joining the Prussians and Austrians. Um, they have uh, quite a bit of the horse, as you can see, um, bringing in line infantry. They brought a lot of Landwehr, some uh, Grasshoppers, and then, of course, some UK line infantry as well. And then, last but not least, one of my favorite factions. Oh, yeah, and also Prussia has two more crosshairs over here. So, lots of heavy cav. Uh, my favorite faction, Russia 9. Russia 9 bring a lot of infantry, brought some crossiers. Um, in fact, they, man, they all brought heavy cav. You can just get the idea. They're going to be very aggressive here. And we do have a charge straight off the bat here. Heavies going and sniping artillery. That, oh man, you know you messed up when heavies get your artillery. I, I'm, <laughs> that, that's an insult in the French face. Like, they actually, I hope they don't lose this crossier. That'd be terrible if they do. I think they're gonna get it out of there in time. Still gonna take some losses. Um, but man, we have seen this valley, guys, be a just valley of death with so much, um, so many kills like piled up in this one little riverbed valley. Because of course, this is supposed to simulate river. Um, now we do have the Prussians taking up this flank. Like I said, they have artillery setting up, I have skirmishers pitching up in front. And uh, they do have the French lines holding. They have artillery of their own. Is this guard? They have guard artillery set up. I hate guard artillery. I hate playing against the French and they're bringing guard artillery. I hate it. Always hated it. Always will hate it. Unless I'm playing as the guard artillery. Or my ally has it. Because it is so stinking good. Um, they're trying to say we have some more horse artillery setting up here. Man, the French definitely are depending on their artillery, at least partially, to win this fight here. And I believe they're actually focusing town fire on the skirmishers. Wait, who's running? Oh, some skirmishers broke. That's, yeah, that's sad. 
But it's guard artillery, guys. It's so stinking accurate. What can you expect? I hope it's actually guard artillery. I'm going to be really stupid if I uh, guard and it's not. But um, now, now, keep in mind, guys, two French armies spawn over here. So you have two right here and then two over here. So the coalition looks like they are actually trying to um, break them up in kind of uh, separate them out here. Focusing on one side, they have Russia 9 holding the river, holding Friedland, um, the city, while the rest of them, you see the UK pushing here. Austria setting up in a line of battle here against France. Yep, look at that. You have the French lined up, a lot of Bavarians. Oh, look at the lines here. But they are Bavarians they're facing. And um, if there's one thing you need to know, they're decent, but the Bavarian lions, unfortunately, not the greatest in melee. Don't have bring they don't bring a lot of squares. Um, unless you're bringing the elites of Bavaria, it's not the greatest quality troops. They're not very good at shooting. They're just overall meh. They're they're okay. They're they're fun to bring. Um, they can hold your line for a little bit, but don't depend on them to take your whole right flank. Um, not saying that they can't do damage and that sort of thing, but, I mean, a whole Bavarian army is gonna... I'd be cautious. I'd want some good Inspires or a lot of Cav nearby to defend this army. Um, yeah, totally defend this army or get some elites, some Grenadiers, something like that. Because you can easily melee a Bavarian army, um, Bayonet Charge. Even Austria could probably Bayonet Charge this army and break it. Um, now, of course, if Bavaria is paying attention, they could easily also counter that. Um, we do have the French pushing back across this hill. I think they did not like the artillery. I mean, they have, they have a whole, like, river in, like, bridge, or not bridge, hill to hide behind. They could just sit down here by these trees, not take any artillery fire, wait for the enemy to get closer. I mean, the same thing over here. They have this amazing valley. Prussia is not even pushed up to attack. Still mobilizing at this point in time, guys. Oh, Artillery set up. We do have some Ulanen charging forward here. They're going to be met by uh, some Chevaliers or Hussars. And uh, a fight is going to ensue here. And it uh, looks like those Lancers, yep, definitely get a break. Not going to be able to take this fight. Um, they definitely don't like that artillery. This artillery is going to start really evening the odds in favor of the French. They really need to defend it. Now, I see a lot of people put the artillery in the front lines. Don't do it. Put your infantry up here and here. Make them have to push through your infantry to get to that artillery. Um, that's the only way to defend it, because I guarantee you, anytime you put artillery in the front lines, it's going to get focused down by Cav. Always and forever. Sir. See how their artillery Sir. is way back here. If you're pushing attack. up in front, it's the only way to make it work. Um, we do have uh, UK now setting up here. Can take this right side they have a lot of infantry guys if you look at the map here let me zoom out there's a lot of troops focusing on one side to keep in mind still two french forces only the other two are still pushing over here and there is some cab that is scouting i think they're gonna have to realize you know at some point they need to come over here and help out um with their ally but we do have some volleys going in, some skirmishers, some lion infantry. We have grenadiers on the left side. Like I said, guys, grenadiers for Austria, very cheap, considering. And they have some good shooting stats and melee stats. Oh, look at this line. Both sides are going to start exchanging some vicious, vicious volleys here. Like, oh, I got you. I, I apologize. I have to check. Okay. Yeah, look at those volleys being exchanged. Bavaria, like I said, will hold pretty well. Um, in a line fight, so long as nothing changes in the course of their fight, and they don't get outnumbered. I think if the UK with Prussia push right now, they could easily start punching a hole through this. This is their, this is their moment to shine, guys. There is only two armies facing them. There's three of them. It's 3v2. The other French armies are way over here still. Uh, this is it. I feel like they have to make some moves. Now, these guys can not form square. Uh, they're pushing over a swearable, but I think France knows it and has pushed over and getting into combat with the Grenadiers. Now we do have a counter charge. Hassar is going to charge against the Chevaliers at the same time. Oh, we have some cavalry charging over here. Some Carassier. Now they are going to get met. These guys will tank this a little bit better. Some of them getting shot in the back. 
but now is the time to run your artillery back while your cav is basically saving time for you man this is so much time pull the cab back unlimber unlimber pull the cab back this french cab got thrown back as well france has plenty of time to run their artillery back and they do not and that is unfortunate and they probably will start to lose those guns um now austria i think has some advantages here they can start really plying away with the cab now we do have some infantry i'm surprised they're not firing they're trying to fire you're giving a fire order um over here just a lot of artillery not doing a whole lot guys the reason i haven't really covered the side like i said i've seen a little bit of this battle and they, nothing really is happening over here i mean the french kind of are mobilizing i think they're beginning to realize that they need to shift over to save their ally because this fight is uh not going too hot Um, Austrian Cav in the back lines gonna get charged by some crossiers. Same time we have more Hazars charging the French line, and we have Grenadiers who are now pushing up. And here we go. It's the first of the cold steel by Austria. France actually countercharged here. They're gonna break probably. But man, France is starting a mass route due to the cavalry. They should throw these cross the airs in. They could save this whole side. But France is starting to fall back here in the center with Russia and the UK pushing. I mean, they're they're really racking up some kills um, on uh, the UK Netherlands. But the UK is going to get up and start shooting, and they are probably going to start dropping enemy pretty fast here. Their shooting stats are just really, really good. Now on the left side, you can see France is in full retreat here. They threw in some crossiers just to try to stop this whole flanking attack. Um, they are pulling back now to the woods. They are giving up the high ground, which is unfortunate, but it is probably wise of them to do so. Um, yeah, they're they're not gonna hold that with this huge flank. This their center is getting pushed heavily. They do have artillery set up. This artillery is gonna hopefully be able to force them back. Hopefully the angle isn't bad. They can always turn this cannon and fire against the Austrian line. Um, they have a lot. I, I, I noticed a lot of uh, artillery sitting in the front lines. This position is very, very strong. They have so much artillery set up. If Prussia even tries anything, they are going to die. We well, start to see some reinforcements from France marching over. Um, they're going to need them because France over here is, is in a bit of a pickle here. <laughs> they have to really fall back. Austria is hot on their heels. Look at this. You can see Austria everywhere. Skirmishers, the general. All the way up to here in the forest. It's going to be hard to see what's going on. But yeah, France totally getting broken. Oh, do we have a bayonet charge? Yeah, we have some Austrians going in for the cold steel, maybe. Maybe they're going to fall back now. France totally falling back now in the center. They are standing side to side, engaging. They have some skirmishers in the front line. Britain, the UK, um, they're going to do well in this fight. Unless artillery starts evening the odds here, they are going to not do too we well. France is not going to do too well. Uh, France does have this LOC they're holding here. You can see Prussia actually pushing up. We may have France actually engaging here, pushing up across this hill. Um, this may be a bad idea. They're going to get hammered by artillery. But we'll see how that develops. We will see. We have some skirmishers now getting shot or bayonet charged. Man. Just a constant forward motion. Oh, we have some uh, French infantry that are now going to get bayonet charged. Um, we're trying to go for some skirmishers. The rest of the line's trying to rush across. They have a good, strong holding point right here. If you look at this, this has some good protection. They have a hill. They have some trees. Um, forcing the coalition to attack them uphill. Still holding this area right here. They are holding it. I like their positioning. Um, but they, they, need to, they need to hang on to it a bit longer. They need reinforcements. Um, oh, wow. Musketeers breaking. I am sure this is a very good unit in here. It has to be. It's firing constantly. 
that artillery did break for france that is going to be a loss of uh you know that foothold we do have france trying to get across the river now we do have some crossiers from prussia now pushing over here um they will probably be able to help make some more uh moves here on uh france what is this jaeger doing this skirmisher <laughs> what are you guys doing you should be going into melee I bet you they told him to give a fire order and he was still in melee. I bet you. Anyway, guys, you can see the coalition pushing up quite a bit. Let's get it from their perspective. They're going to march over this hill and boom, there is the French line waiting for them. Man, look at the masses of infantry, though. France kind of sitting in between these, uh, oh wow, they have some guard. They totally have some guard units over here. That's gonna just make it even rougher. That's gonna make it really rough on them. Uh, France was just getting shot apart by artillery and skirms, so yeah, that they're gonna fall back again. France has their reserves pushing over. You see the general, two generals. So France is getting closer, guys. This is where the coalition really needs to make some pushes. If they want to break this French army before the reinforcements get here, because they are coming up. Do we have a cab charge potentially? Look at all this cab rolling over. Oh, they have a cab charge now going against some dragoons of France. Uh, more French breaking. Man, France is actually crumbling. Look at this. These Bavarians have been fighting for quite some time. I'm surprised they've actually held as long as they have. Um, there's some reserves. We have some Swiss. Aha, speaking of the Swiss, I'm... Uh, my miniatures came in, and I'm painting them as the Swiss. This red and blue. And, of course, the coattails and all, but look very, very epic. Very awesome. Although there was something about the Swiss in it. No, the uniforms for the officers apparently in some of the Swiss units was uh, black. Like black uniforms and the drummers had like black and red. Um, interesting. It was a very interesting uh, fact I did not know. Alright, so we do have the French falling back once more. We do have reserves pushing over though. We have some uh, probably better quality line infantry for France. Some light infantry, some lines... And just in the nick of time, guys, because, uh, yeah, France is, uh, ooh, these are, Mar are these the Marines? No, they're not. Look very nice, though. Bavarians once more are reforming their lines here. We do have now Prussia pushing up. Oh, man, this LLC is going to be a pain in their side. They're going to get shot in the flank constantly. They need to send in not musketeers but send in some like grenadiers or something oh we do have some cavalry charging in uh, totally run over this uk unit but doesn't matter they still are smacking into this french line here our men are running for and at the same time over here guys so much cab they should really be pushing i would charge these hussars in, in the forest against this french line you gotta make the plays now. You can see the reserves are starting to consolidate here. More infantry pushing up here for France. Russia is still sitting over here. They probably should start shifting over. Um, there's nothing facing them. It'd probably be wise for them to shift over. Oh my goodness. We have a huge charge by the Prussian heavies breaking through here. And now they're probably going to start going for the reserve. These... Um, Swiss units probably gonna have to turn and try to help face this line. We have a general. We do have a cab charge though. Some carabiners charging through the lines. Unless that's Ledu. Nah, that's not Ledu. That's no way. But, you know, Prussia did some real damage there over on this right side. You can see Austria shifting over a lot of cavalry. I hope they do get very aggressive. They need to. Look at this vicious fight here. Oh, we do have a counter charge by France. France charging and trying to drive back. Uh, they're going against some Toros, though. That's 
not gonna go too well for them. They are definitely, this poor variant's not gonna be able to break the tow rows. You're dreaming if you think you do. You can't. Men are running for but you can see in the distance the French reserves pushing forward as this fight's going on. Oh, what a beautiful volley. All right, well, it crashed. So where are we? We were at the bayonet shards of the tow rows. <laughs> Uh, Bavaria trying to maybe retake some momentum here after they've lost uh, quite significantly on that charge. Actually charging on several fronts all at once. Our men are running first. Now you see, see Prussia's getting broken here. That was a very good bayonet charge by some Volksgeurs. The house still hot fire. What kind of units are in here? Okay, some Imperial Guard units are in there. Yeah, we do have the Swiss charging in against some of the King's German Legion or some uh, Dutch line infantry. Man, they're doing quite well here. But now the UK are having to push back a little bit. I mean, that was a pretty vicious charge that France gave them. And now you're starting to see the French reserves pushing Our up men here. Are running, sir. At the same time, also some French reserves having shifted over to this side. Probably some squareables, but we are having, you can see some regular French troops pushing up behind the lines here. Some skirmishers, some cavalry as well. So France is really trying to retake the momentum they have lost on this side. As, oh my goodness, do we have another crossier charge coming in here, going against a ton of line infantry. Oh yeah, they're gonna smack right into that flank. Such a beautiful charge. Now there is some French units here that can square some finally professional French troops on the battlefield here and they are going to start shooting into these crossiers who are now going to fall back doesn't doesn't matter though they broke some more of the bavarian line and uh oh we do have russia now shifting over their forces they are going to push up they need to help they need some reinforcements here guys um this uk push has been getting a little battered up actually i think in part because of such good shooting units in this LOC, look at the shot they have. Look at that, it's perfect. They have like point blank shots at the UK lines. And oh, we have some land bear now for the UK pushing up. Oh, we have, okay, so the French are going in, or not the French, but the UK pushing it again for the house. Oh my goodness, they're getting shot up by the French line. Look at this. How many troops have dropped in this one area trying to get into the house? They are not going to take that. That's my prediction. They are not going to take that. Now, over on this side, France still folding. Austria still maintaining such a heavy concentration attack. They have their grenadiers pushing up. They still have cavalry here. They could try making a move. Oh, we have uh, France well, charging land bear, pushing in some regular line infantry. Meantime, man, these poor... Yeah, the French are just holding this house. This house is honestly what is saving the French line, I think. If this house didn't exist, uh, the French would have had been forced back long ago. Um, artillery still set up. We still don't have all the French lines up here in this French line. They do have some reserves helping to hold, bolster this Bavarian line. Two squareables on the flanks as Austria constantly is advancing, is constantly firing here. Look at the smoke, you barely see. How would you even see in that forest? Now this line's still looking a little weak. Um, they don't have a whole lot of reserves. France needs to rush something over there ASAP um, if they want to hold that side. And I don't see their reserves yet. Uh, actually, I do see reserves. We have light infantry pushing up. We have some guard pushing up. Oh my goodness, saving the day, beefy units, as well as, maybe this is Ledoux. No, it's not, it's not. But we do have more lines now pushing up. Oh man, Austria is gonna start hitting a lot of fresh units, and all these units have been fighting this entire time. France even bayonet charging here. The Swiss going in, counter charging. Look at the death in this area here. Russia needs to throw in all those four units right here. They need to be hitting this house with artillery too. Um, we do have artillery set up right here. This King's German Legion needs to fire and start 
damaging this house. They need to get rid of this unit if they want to be able to make a push. I think Austria is going to start running out of steam here. This is a massive reserve line. Or not a reserve line. The front line has been replaced by some fresh French troops that are way better quality. These guys are going to start dishing it out on the Austrian line. You can see these guys are active. They are exhausted yet. Some of them are even fresh. But I guarantee these guys are way more fresh, way more rested, and uh, way more ready to face off against the coalition. This whole line is now going to be shifted off the front lines, put in reserve, rested up. And uh, there's still one more French army still, I'm sure, marching over this direction. This side has been nothing really. I mean, Prussia has just a bunch of troops just setting up here. Not really doing a whole lot. Um, the coalition still has a chance, but we do have some cavalry now charging in against the land bear. Some dragoons. Oh my goodness, a beautiful charge here. Really impacting the coalition's lines. We do have a UK small line. These guys can't even form square, probably. They're too small. This was not the greatest of cav charges for France. You probably should get a rally or something on that unit. Uh, they really didn't get a good impact in there. And uh, we do have Russia set up ready for it to be a reserve line. Oh, you can hear those volleys. It's going to be sh quiet for a second. You can hear the Napoleonic war uh, sounds. You can see them fighting over this whole road. And look at this. This whole road. They're, they're definitely some distance here now. And both sides don't really want to give up. Man, I really was worried, really worried about France at first. I mean, they were getting pushed back heavily. They didn't have that reserve. And you can see now these, these troops are... Uh, actually, this is some fresh troops here. Yeah, they have some fresh troops. Uh, Bavaria is actually now going for the flank. Um, with a backup of uh, some uh, Voltigeurs. In Grenadiers. So they're going to push, be the flank, let this French army kind of hold the center against Austria. Over here, you can see the French. This is some new reinforcements here. Yep, they got reinforcements here. They're too thick, and they are going to take this line fight. Um, now I think they should be getting a little more aggressive maybe, especially against this land bear, but for now they're gonna try to take this fight over on this side. It looks like nothing really happening still. I mean, this side's just been kind of a, a standing here. Both sides getting hammered by artillery. There's a little bit of skirmishing here, actually. The, the grasshopper's up here, and, uh, Austria still exchanging fire with the French in this small cluster of buildings. I think the UK are starting to get really worn down, which is a concern. And you you gotta hope that this Cav, maybe he's just resting up and is gonna get some more action, maybe against Bavaria here, who does not have squares now. They do have some cavalry to maybe help defend the infantry. Oh, what's this? We have a snipe. Hussar is going in against artillery. What a well-placed Cav charge there. And, oh no, a general or artillery, one or the other. Uh, they're getting, the, they're, they're, I would have gone for the general. Um, yeah. That's okay, the Hussar still got their weight in gold here. Now they're going to try to go for the general. Oh, are they going to get all three? No way. No way. You can't get all three. There's no way that Austria is going to survive. Now they're not going to. They're getting run down pretty fast. Yeah, they're not going to make it. But they still got a, a lot of kills there. And this fight is just... Man, look at this. Using the Grove. Austria, how are they doing? Their units are tired. They've been in a fight for a very long time. The thing that sucks is they can't really... Oh, the General's like right in the front lines. Wait. Oh, the General broke. How did this happen? 
The general's broken. That's not going to be good for Austria. Um, Austria does have artillery, five pounders set up. They can always fall back behind their lines here, start puncturing the French line because France has equalized and regained some of that control they have. They do also have some dragoons, some UK dragoons. At a certain point, this French line is going to uh, run out of. Oh no! They, they they put a new unit in this house. That's there was the old unit. Uh, but new units in the house, so that's just a trial and a half for the uh, coalition. Oh, we have a fight way over here on the left flank. Some Dragoons against the French Hussars. I'm going to be trying to get around behind this line. So many French troops just kind of sitting here. Uh, these troops don't need to be sitting here. I mean, the coalition's not even pressing that attack. Localizing, consolidating, and then pushing. We do have that French push now going for a flank. That's why Austria is having to fall back. We do have um, some cavalry charging in once again against the uh, land bear. Actually getting a way more solid attack this time. Following it up with some line infantry. And the UK definitely starting to feel the pain here. Um, they are, of course, shifting over their left flank to... Basically, uh, man, they're going backwards now, which is probably not a very good feeling. Um, I mean, the French are pretty weak in the center, though. They are getting chewed up. So even even with the French reinforcements and the French um, consolidation, things aren't looking too hot. There's two French armies probably here now, and two right over here with half of the second one still on this side. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, this is a this is a lot of patience. A lot of patience in this game by the Coalition especially, and France, just setting in certain areas and not moving. Um, I can't really say if that's wise or not. I don't know. France should be trying to go at an angle here to hit this defense. Um, this is a... Uh-oh. I look up to see the heavies charging down upon this Austrian line. Oh, they threw some infantry in to save the artillery. Now, the artillery is going to have a clean shot. A clean shot. Oh, my gosh. A clean shot on this French heavy cab. It's not going to be enough, but still, they whittled down that cab a lot. A general has been killed. Oh, that's the Austrian general, unfortunately. Now, this artillery is going to die. But this heavy cav unit is worse for wear now. They have lost almost half of their men now. And that's going to be a little bit rough. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of heavy cav on the French side being used to break the Austrians or Prussians. Um, which is honestly the perfect opportunity of what to use them for. Heavy cav should be used against infantry. If you look at the Prussia, especially Austria. Austria is a perfect one to use heavy cav with. They don't have any squares here. This Carabiner should rest up and they could charge in the forest here. Maybe, you know, push right here, smack that line, push up these lines to defend it. Maybe a good way to use that cab. That's the way, you know, definitely you want to use that cab is... Uh, oh, the Dragoons won, by the way, so they're going to be able to push up here. Maybe take out some of this artillery. France probably doesn't have any cab All left are running to defend for... that artillery. And this is some really good artillery up on this hill. If they can break all of this French artillery. It is over. It is over for this left flank. They won't have anything to support. They got to play their cards right, though. They got to be cautious and not let, uh, you know, the French. I mean, the French have to know there's calf here. They probably shifted over something. They have to. What do we have here? Some musketeers facing off against some, uh, some skirmishers, maybe, for France. France has numbers for a little bit here, guys, but not for forever. I mean, they, this this whole fight over here, France is kind of clinging to the uh, the LOC, and so Austria. I mean, UK is holding a small line here. France could probably try something here. Oh, we do have some cavalry charging in dragoons versus hussars. This is really important that France win this fight. They have to win this fight. We have a general. Oh, running. that's unfortunate. Yeah, France had enough cav to defend their rear rear guard, basically. If if this guns were gone, this whole line could push for it. Now, Russia is very healthy, guys. Russia could sweep in, I bet, and seal 
the co the uh, French's fate. It's a very fresh army. I'm just wondering why they haven't attacked yet. I mean, while Austria is dying here, Fran uh, Russia should attack. Austria is going to die here. That's my prediction. Russia needs to attack because Austria is going to die. Austria can't hold on forever. They are attacking. They've fought at least two armies. And uh, they yep, still falling back here. The UK still are. To push the Russians up here and then strike the, the side. I mean, I would go in with a Russian unit on the house. I mean, they are, they are artillerying it, so that actually is a good sign. Once they have, they can push up and hit this French flank while they're engaging this whole Russian-Austrian, or this UK-Austrian line. Look at the death, though. The death on the hill. My goodness. Oh, what a vicious fight, guys. And the French counterattacking. I did not see that coming. Um, saving their right flank. It looked like it was over for them. Austria was hot on their heels. And I like how the coalition's also saving their cav. Um, those Dragoons tried to maybe bro go for the uh, French line. Hit a square. France being able to save that side. My gosh. <laughs> oh, that's... That's that's going to leave a mark on that road. Alright, so the Coalition is totally falling back across this river. Um, like I said, they do have reserve. They have plenty of heavies for Russia still in reserve. And Prussia is still decently strong, but I think their secret weapon right now is Russia 9. Russia 9 may be the one who has to save the day here. Um, when it comes to LOC-wise, guys, the Coalition will win still. Um, there's not enough LOCs for the French. The French have to take this LOC or they need to take Friedland itself, which they are not going to do. There's no way they can push across here. They are so consolidated here. And uh, so by, by LLC, the coalition's going to win, you know. So there's that at least. The coalition will win that. Um, France, I don't know if they'd win the line fight. I mean, Russia is very strong. I'm just waiting for Russia to just all of a sudden attack. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for this LLC to be broken. It's at 80%. Actually, I think they are totally, oh my goodness. Yeah, they're kill They're just killing these poor guys. They're just killing the French. And now Russia should advance. Is Russia advancing? Where are they going? Just march at this angle. Just march across this river. Have the coalition stop right here. Tie up the French lines and let the Russians just roll through here with their cavalry and infantry. It'll be amazing to see. I'm, I'm actually, I'm really hopeful that's what's going to happen. Here also the Prussians are just chopping up this French line that was standing here. Um, I think they feel brave enough to take on the French guns here. And, uh, yeah, these French guns are going to really have to save this line because this line is going to get chopped up. It's chopped liver. Chopped liver. So the guns need to save them. Look at that. It's, a ma it's about to turn into a mass route for France. Here it goes. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, the Russians are advancing. Here we go. This is what I have been hoping I would see. And it uh, does not disappoint. I love Russia 9. So, you know, I can't help but be really excited to see this. Imagine, imagine being one of these poor French blokes. You know, you're sitting here marching. You think you've won the battle. And then you see <clears throat> a massive... Excuse me. <clears throat> A massive Russian column just advancing here. It's like Waterloo where the Prussians showed up late and France was like, we're screwed. Heavy cow pushing up here as well. Yeah, oh my goodness. It's like a whole new army just showed up. These guys are so fresh, not losing a single unit. All this cavalry, France is dead. France is dead. And here we go, the Cav charge again. Oh man, yep, France, their fate is sealed, guys. This is like the attack of the old guard. And uh, they're just gonna mass route here. Counter charge. Russia's not even gonna do anything.
I mean, now they're going to get to do something, but it's going to be a little too All late. Men are running, sir. For them to do anything super decisive. France is just crumbling everywhere. I think that war of attrition, that battle of attrition is what broke them. And France getting attacked it from the rear by Dragoons. From the front by the Austrian line. He's going to break them. And Russia is rolling over here. Man, Russia could have come in way sooner and did a lot more damage and not let their ally, you know, have all the fun. But, you know, it's okay. It's, it's how nice of them. They let the... Oh, there's actually a whole French army here. <clears throat> that is going in a suicide charge, I guess. They could have at least, uh, you know, stood in a line and fired. But we do have cavalry now charging in. Clashing with these Dragoons. These Dragoons are at work is not done. In fact, they actually are going to probably break the Austrians. They'll empire pour in a volley here. Probably push them back. And now going forward on to the lines for Russia. The cavalry should have gone way sooner, in my opinion. The French should have been using their heavy cav a little bit sooner here. It probably would have worked a little better. Um, but at this point, it's just clean up for the French army. France is going to form up here in a volley, start volleying. And uh, part of this is unfor the unfortunate. Yeah, this whole French army. I mean, this is actually a lot of French still left. This is not going to be easy for this Austrian army. They need the Russians. Uh, there's a lot of French troops still here. Oh, artillery getting charged by some hussars. The unfortunate thing is, guys, the French had two armies that spawned way over here, and the coalition capitalized on it. Um, <clears throat> man, France could be doing so much damage to Austria instead of charging in, in mass. I think the French could have done a ton of damage still to the uh, the coalition, but I think they're I think they just are conceding defeat at this point. But the thing is, guys, you never want to just give up a fight unless it's truly won. I mean, this side just collapsed. Russia came in behind. Prussia coming in on the other side. They just broke them. Um, they had a lot of French troops here. If they had set up in a good defense position, they could have maybe won. They had their heavy calves still. Don't ever throw things away. Now Russia is going to go in. I still thought it was fun battle though, you know? I mean, the French being able to get reserves, I thought the French were gonna cave in the very beginning. I thought Bavaria was dead. Now, it still definitely was one-sided. I mean, Russia wasn't in the fight the entire time almost. Um, now, without Russia showing up, I think the French could have won. So definitely the Russians still had to, you know, do something to save the uh, coalition because France had a lot of troops, especially on this side. They just kind of threw it all away at once. Once Russia showed up, I think they were a little in despair that they had lost, or maybe it was a drop, I don't know. But either way, a amazing fight until the end. And, uh, yeah, man, that was, uh, not bad, not bad at all. I loved the mobilization in the reinforcements pushing over, re reinforcing the lines, kind of how it we should be. killed their general, sir. Now they must break. A little too laggy, isn't it? There we go. And that should be the battle. I don't think the results will be here, but I'm pretty sure Austria caught a ton of kills. I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure a lot of them did. Even France, I'm sure, got a decent amount of kills on this fight. Um, but let's see, we were, yeah, Prussia, I mean, okay. Minus that, which I'm sure had some running down of troops. The rest of the... You didn't actually didn't get that many kills. I'm sure Austria did a lot better here. So, But anyway, guys, that'll be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, very even balanced fight till the end. So uh, that'll be it today, guys. You all stay safe. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll catch you all in another video.